Here we are in May, only a couple of months until the August recess for lawmakers. There are a dozen funding bills and a nomination backlog that needs to be voted on. And our next guest is announcing today, exclusively on Fox & Friends, how he plans on making it happen. Joining us right now is Senator David Perdue, a Republican from the great state of Georgia. David, good morning to you. Good morning. How much stuff do you have to get done, and how many days do you have to do it? Well, first of all, we've got all these nominations that are backed up because of the obstructionism of the Democrats. Um, the second is we've got this funding that we've got to do by the end of the fiscal year. We have 12 weeks and only 42 days to get it, get there. So we're offering the leadership again this year the opportunity to stay here nights, weekends, and through the August break to get that work done. And we've got a graphic a countdown to the uh, fiscal year end. 70 total working days, yeah. uh, 55 working days excluding Fridays, 43 working days excluding Mondays and Fridays, and 12 working weeks in all. But the next to the last one is the important one because generally members of Congress come in Monday night or Tuesday and then they're usually gone by noon on Thursday. That's the dirty little secret about Capitol Hill. So you only work a couple of days a week anyway. Well, they're working in the state, but the point right. is we're not voting on the funding bills here in Washington. We, you know, the history over the last 44 years, Steve, is that Congress has only voted two and a half appropriation bills per year. That's the average. We're supposed to do 12. What we want to do right now is get to work on that to avoid that last minute disaster that we've seen the last few years. Mm -hmm. And so the way to do that is to start talking about that now, put amendments on the floor, and let's get these funding bills done now. Well, you know what, uh, Senator? You're absolutely right. You regarded uh, the omnibus uh, bill as a disaster. There are a lot of Republicans uh, and uh, fiscally minded Americans who look at that great big spendapalooza as uh, just Washington run amok. It's great that you're trying to do something, uh, you know, some physical restraint, but nonetheless, stuff's got to get done. And so what are the odds that Mitch McConnell's going to go, you know what, uh, Senator Perdue, this is a good idea. Let's do it. Well, last year, you know, we did the same thing. Several uh, Republican senators gave a letter to Senator McConnell, and the leader uh, agreed with us and, and uh, agreed to stay in in August. And four days into that period, we got the Democrats to agree to 77 confirmations. We think the same thing will happen this year. But even if it doesn't, it gives us more time to put these spending bills on the floor, actually have some debate, put amendments on the floor, and let's get away from this last-minute right. uh, criti you know, critical period to, to force this issue. I know uh, you're, you're calling it time to make Congress great again. That's catchy. Have you thought about making some red hats with that on it? <laughs> red hats. We just want it to work again. And the way to make it work is to get these funding bills done, not yep. do a continuing resolution. It really hamstrings our military. And it always leads to an omnibus the night before everybody wants to leave for Christmas break. And that never works out because you always wind up spending too much. Absolutely. Uh, Senator David Perdue, we thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. All right. So what do you think about that? Should they work more up on Capitol Hill? I think I know the answer.